week I am going to be doing a one week one palette and I'm going to be using my Petrus 2 palette from BYS and this is what it looks like inside. Some beautiful peachy warm tones and some sort of rosy kind of goldy tones and some lovely browns. So I had the Peaches 1 palette from BYS and um, my daughter came home from university and spotted it and so I don't have that anymore because she took it with her, which is fine. Um, so I went out and I bought the Peaches 2 palette, which is why this palette doesn't look like it's hardly been used because it's new and I have hardly used it. So I wanted to give it some love this week and come up with some different looks to make with it. And <laughs> that's... Um, it's really just the weird way my brain works. I look at it and think, well, what kind of looks can I do with this palette that aren't obviously peachy looks? And um, then by the time I'd finished figuring out some looks, I realized that I'd hardly used any of the peachy colors. And so I had to rethink a bit because um, I want to, my goal is to use every color in the palette and get familiar with it and really, um, get to know how they work and what I like and what I don't like and things of the palette. So this will be my first look, this glowy kind of rosy gold look today. So let's go and get on with it. Okay, look one today for the Peach 2 palette. I'm going to go for a glowy kind of natural look today. I'm going to get a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into this colour here. They don't have any names on them, these colours. And I'm just going to go into the crease. It's quite pigmented, so I don't want too much colour on there. So I've just wiped it off, wiped my brush off, and I'm just buffing that out. I'm going to get a flat brush. This is a BYS concealer brush and I really like this brush. It's really skinny and really flat and I really like that for packing on shimmer shades. So I'm going to go in with this colour here, the one directly above. I'll just try it dry first. pretty colour. I'm going to go in with my brown eyeliner. This is just a got a bit munted on the end because I stuck the lid in it. <laughs> this is just an LA Girl the um, gel glide or glide gel eyeliner in brown. And I'm just going to in a tight line do the bottom lash line. I'm not going to put it in the waterline today and a little bit on the top. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to use my little tiny lip define brush and that is, it doesn't have a name on it so I, I kept the little piece of paper that it came with so I would remember it's a Flawless Beauty brand and it's a very tiny, very thin, just flat brush and it's actually for your lips but I find it's really good for stamping in some colour so I'm just going to go into the darkest matte brown and I'm just going to stamp over the top of the eyeliner just so that it doesn't end up all over my face just to keep it where I want it so I'm going to go into a Real Techniques detailer brush this is one of the by Sam and Nick Chapman brushes and I'm going to go in with that same shimmer colour but I'm 
going to wet it this time. And just do just in the inner bit there. Then we're going to go in with, this is the brush, it's a double-ended one that came with my Chi Chi palette and I'm going to go in with the small side, it's just a little flat brush and I'm going to go into the matte cream and I'm going to do my brow bone. And I'm going to go into another I always forget what it's called, Flawless Beauty brush. This one is the lip line brush. It's got sort of a triangle, very pointy end on it. And I'm going to do this for my inner corner. And I'm not sure if this one will be light enough, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to use this light shimmer color up there. It's probably not quite as light as I would like it, but it's not terrible. I'll probably end up adding a touch of highlighter to that bit. There's my eyes so far. I'll do my mascara. I'll do my usual L'Oreal False Lash X Fiber Mascara, which I thought was on its last legs, but it's still going. there's my eyes so far and um, I've already put some of my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in my brows and I'm going to go and do some Al, some <laughs> Brow Artist Plumper by L'Oreal and I'm going for a really kind of natural brow today I'm going to brush them up go in with my NATO blusher and peach glow. Just like this. Use my blusher brush, which I don't know where I got this one from because it hasn't got a name on it and I've forgotten. contour today I'm just gonna do some bronzer and I think I'll do my um, Wet n Wild bronzer in Tepito Brazil which is a nice kind of natural looking bronzer with a bit of a glow because I'm going for a glowy look today Oops. I just hit a tiny tiny bit of pan can you see that on there it's such a powdery bronzer I'm not surprised because I sort of felt like it wouldn't take long to hit pan on this one and I haven't even been trying to go in the same place or anything my brush just seems to naturally go down in that bit <laughs> and I'm going to go across the face a bit because it's got a bit of a glow to this one and I want a bit of a glow and I think I want to use a blush topper today. So I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild baked blush and this one is in called, it's called Hummingbird Hype. So it's the kind of apricotty gold one and although it says it's baked blush to me it is not a baked blush. It is definitely a blush topper or even highlighter because it is so shiny. I don't know if you can see that glow. And 
And I'm also going to go in with some highlighter because I want to be glowy today. So I'm going to go over the top of highlighter because why not? Uh, I've got a new um, brush I want to try out for highlighter. And this is the Artist Professional Highlighter Brush. I've been looking for one that's got sort of more of a point on it. And I haven't been able to find what I'm looking for. This one's really soft. This was the closest I could find to what I was looking for. So I'm going to try this one out. I'm going to go into my Highlighter 2 palette in Whisper. I'm going to get that gold shade, which is called Whisper. <laughs> Just do the very tops of my cheeks. That brush feels nice. I just want to keep using it because it feels nice. I didn't put any extra on my brush on just whatever was on there, which probably wasn't very much at all, which is just as well for me. <laughs> and a little fluffy brush. This is a um, OXX brush. This is part of the eye kit, but it's a nice flat but fluffy brush. It's not too flat. So I'm going to go in the Moonstone, the white one. That's the only colour I've found for highlight that I can stick on my nose without it looking weird. So that's why I'm putting that one. And I'm going to put a little bit down the centre of my nose as well, because I want to glow today. I if I should put some on the tops of my cheeks as well. Apparently I just want to go crazy with highlighter today. And I'm just getting this brush up. Just buffing that out a bit so it doesn't look too weird. My nice glowy look so far. And I want just a very natural glowy kind of look to my lips. What do I want to use? This one might be too good. No, I think I'm going to go and have a look at it. So I might try my L'Oreal gloss in Never Let Me Go. Looks like this. It's kind of an apricot gloss with a slight gold fleck in it. I think that's too pale. It's not quite what I was looking for. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to try my Light Candy lipstick. It's pale pink. I'm going to use that as a base and see if using that gloss on top is more what I was looking for. I think that's more what I was looking for. I want a bit more apricot though. What happens if I put some of my Chi Chi lip lights just in the centre? again. So I'm going to go in with my lip liner and this is a um, Rimmel lip liner in tiramisu. And then I'm going to go over with my Chi Chi lip lights and see what that looks like. I 
and that goes with the lips. I think I think that goes with the eyes better, actually, and the colour of the eyes. I think that lip is better. Tilly's look one, my glowy look with my peach two palette. 